Good day, I'm Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I've had quite a few people ask me if I could do a quick start on how to get MRTG up and running on Windows. For the next few slides, you'll see how to do that. If you have any questions or any future suggestions for any other types of quick starts, feel free to contact me. I guess before you get started, you should probably figure out why you'd like to even use MRTG. I particularly like MRTG because I use it to determine network utilization or switch utilization on various SNMP enabled devices such as routers or switches. Uh, it could even be a server for that case. I also like to use it to monitor any other SNMP type OIDs or values that are contained within a device such as CPU utilization, RAM errors, and possibly other types of things like RSSI values for wireless devices. Since MRTG is basically a huge Perl script, you need Perl. So we're going to need to install Perl. We're going to need to download and unzip MRTG. We're going to configure our configuration file that MRTG will use for its polling process. Check our output or results. And I'll give you a list of several resources I use when I reference MRTG. Installing Perl is pretty straightforward. We go to activestate.com's website. We download Perl. We'll install it using all the defaults. You'll find a Perl directory on your hard drive. We can test the installation by going to the command prompt and typing Perl space dash V, and that will give you the version of Perl that you have. If you have an issue, typically the path may have not been updated within your environment variables, so you may have to go to the Perl directory and try this again. MRTG is pretty straightforward as well. We have to go to the MRTG webpage, uh, which is OSS otiker, O-E-T-I-K-E-R dot C-H slash M-R-T-G. It's basically a zip file. So we'll download the zip file and basically create an M-R-T-G directory off your root. Go to the command prompt. We'll change the directory to the bin subdirectory within M-R-T-G and type Perl space CFG maker, all one word, dash version. And you should see the config maker version now that we have Perl and MRTG installed, we'll test SNMP access to your SNMP enabled device. Typically, you'll type Perl space CFG maker space the SNMP read string, the at sign, and then the IP address of that device. You should see a lot of output come, come across the screen, but typically you should not see an error on any of this stuff. If you do, then you may have the wrong string, you may have the wrong IP, or you may have access lists or filters blocking SNMP access to that device. As I said earlier, if you use the incorrect string or incorrect IP and you type the CFG maker command with the wrong string, you will see an error message, typically SNMP error, no response received, um, and so on and so on and so on. So if you do have those types of errors, you cannot use that device or you'll have to figure out why you cannot access that device using SNMP. And in this case, we are using SNMP version 1. Now that we know Perl works and MRTG works and we can access the device using CFG Maker via SNMP, we can use Perl and Config Maker command again, but this time we will create an output file. I've called it test.cfg and it will create my MRTG configuration file for me. By default, it will poll every five minutes, and more importantly, it will be graphing the bytes per second. If everything worked out for you in the previous slide, you should have your config file ready to go. Now you will type Perl space MRTG space test.cfg, or whatever you called your configuration file. You should find several files in your directory now, an HTML file, a log file, an old file, and some PNG or graphic files, which will give you the graphs for that device. You will find that the IP address will be typically at the beginning of every, every single file name, but more importantly, a dash or an underscore with the interface that you will now be polling. If everything works out for you and you have all your graphics working for you, you should probably reference the Plixer website, and they have a whole repository of MRTG scripts pre-written for you, categorized by vendor and by different models of their devices. Another good site that will show you various examples of how to use MRTG from obscure things like monitoring stocks to monitoring your UPS, temperature, humidity, and other examples, you'll find that link on this page as well. Have fun. Again, thank you for watching my quick starts.
And if you have any suggestions for any future topics, feel free to contact me and I'll whip something up. Have a good day.